<laughs> so I have a feeling I'm going to fall. There we go. There's one staircase going... Really? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic sky base community build this is episode four last episode we built this helipad up here with this crappy little aircraft which i'm gonna redesign in the future i am not the best at it i'm still working on it and then down here we're gonna take the elevator down we built this escape pod launcher now it wasn't exactly like this last episode last episode it had thrusters on it and now it just has these wheels to launch it that way all right, you're the test dummy again, Ryan. Um, I think it's two. <laughs> what happened? It threw you. All right, that's um the best I could get it for the launcher at the moment. Um, that's one of the variations of escape pods we're gonna have in this base. There's gonna be the dropper type in the future. But for now, what we're going to do this episode is we're going to be starting on some more rooms. A bunch of people in the comments suggested I should make weapon systems on the sky base. Now, it would be awesome if this base actually spun, but I actually have a pretty cool idea for the weapon systems, at least the main ones. We're going to have cannons on both sides here, big ones. Now, they're not going to actually work, but we're going to have a staircase back here going to each of the rooms. Um, hopefully this works. I'm not sure how I'm going to make the staircase work, but I think we can figure it out. So we're going to have it about that wide for the top, and it's just going to go down. I think that's good. And now what I think we could do is, um, this isn't supposed to be here, we'll just remove it. Drop it to the ground with all our other um, scrap metal down there. <laughs> and we're going to just kind of make like a staircase going downwards, like this. Now we should make it a different color. I think maybe concrete blocks, concrete steps, or yeah, I guess concrete steps would work. I think that might be good. Don't want to fall down these stairs though. <laughs> that would suck. Oh no, my stairs. Well, there's more scrap down there. All right, there we go. There's our staircase. I think that looks pretty good. You can see all the chairs I have down here to get back up. Now we need another way to get back up just in case we fall, but that's why I built that aircraft up there. Even though it's a little hard to control, it is actually very useful. I'm gonna have to put that down on the bottom. <laughs> so I have a feeling I'm gonna fall. There we go, there's one staircase going Really? <laughs> well, it launched me. <laughs> Luckily, I still have those toilets there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Back up. And now we can continue this. Hopefully the stairs don't launch me again. That's kind of weird how it does that. Oh, well. All right, and I'm just gonna make a long thing here so we can decide, uh, design the actual room. I think we're gonna have it sticking out the side partially. I'm not quite sure. Um, we're gonna have to copy it exactly, so I'm not gonna go very in depth with this room. But we're gonna have to make it even. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna clear this up to um, make it look a little more nice. I think that's a pretty decent size for the cannon room. Now, I'm trying to go after the design similar to like the submarines, how they're so cramped inside. It also saves me extra space for uh, building later on and helps with performance, I guess. Um, I think this is a good size. Now we just gotta figure out how to design the cannons pretty quick once I'm done this. There we go. And then we can just plop down a roof. Um, yeah, we could just use the previous roof up here. Oh, look at that. There's our launching system right there. It's pretty cool. It's not too close to the weapons room. All right, there we go. Looks good. Now we got to design the cannons. I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually use these 
long red pipes here for our cannons. I think that would be pretty good. Not sure. I am. I have never actually built any big fake weapons yet, um, other than like the guns from the follow shelter. But I think we'll start from this side. We're bearing down there, and we're gonna get some blocks out. I guess we can use these ones here. There we go. That's perfect. That's a perfect size. Okay. There we go. We can fit through the back now. It's a little cramped, but I like that. Um, now we're just going to have a controller somewhere in here. Um, we'll just make a terminal for these weapons somewhere. Um, once we get the other ones built, we will figure that out. But we're going to have at least three big cannons in this room. All right, there we go. We got our terminal. Now we just got to add the constraints to make it look like they're actually aiming at something. So we're going to add all three of them like this. There we go. And we're going to make it so that they're automatically aimed up uh, 45 degrees. Hopefully that works. Okay, and we're going to have slow speed. Oh, that's down. Okay, the other one worked there. Awesome. That's what I wanted. And now we're going to have the cannons um, move with one of these buttons. I guess this button here. And we're going to make the move negative 45 would be the uh, flush with the building. 90 would be aiming down. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to make the, um, hmm, the one in the middle a little more aimed down. These ones are going to be 75. Let's try 75. We're going to press the button. I don't know if that really worked. There we go. I think that looks good. Looks good to me. And then we just got to go outside and add the barrels to the cannons. And then we got to kind of color this a bit. Once the base gets a better uh, color scheme, uh, this will look pretty nice. It won't look so bland inside. I think what we could do without falling again is just drop down right here and oh careful 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 there we go and I don't know if that's gonna let us do it there looks good now these are gonna be pretty huge I think three three is good enough Yep, and I'll fix the top of those um, blocks there that I just removed to add the barrels because uh, I can't do that currently. I got to make them flush with the building. There we go. I think that looks good. Maybe the one in the middle should be a little bigger. There we go. I think that looks cool. Now we can just paint them a bit. Oh, not blue. Maybe like a gray. There we go. Looks sweet. And then tips, I guess, can be black. Awesome. That looks sweet. Okay, now we just got to get back inside. All right, here we go. This is what it looks like on the inside now. We got some glass floors, and I'm just gonna work on the other side now. Hopefully I get it symmetrical to this side. It might not be exactly the same, but let's see if it is. So I finished the other room, and this is what this one looks like. It's pretty much the same as the one on the other side, which is good. And if we go up here and look outside, you guys can actually see the cannons from outside the windows, which looks pretty sweet. And I'm just going to turn these on here so they get into place. And we're going to go down on the ground and see what they look like from below. 
Alright guys, take a look up there, and there we go, that's what the cannons look like. We're gonna go a little farther away and clean up some of the scrap while we're at it. And we're gonna just take a look from the side and see what it looks like. It kind of looks terrifying. It's hard to see from down here though. Pretty sweet looking though. Look at that. That is kind of awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking. Alright, so we're just gonna head back up. Take a look at all of the scrap that is around. It's not that much, actually. It's, um, it was worse before, but I cleaned it up. <laughs> I had Ryan help me. Yeah. And here is our escape pod. It's pretty difficult to get back up. It's easier with a friend. I usually get Ryan to help me um, put it back up, because once the escape pod is used, you can't put it back up. Unless you build a whole new one. So I'm going to get him to help me put that back up. So, we're actually going to get started on a few of the rooms, not too many. I need a lot more suggestions of which type of rooms we should add to the sky base. So if you have any of those suggestions, please let me know. We're actually going to start building the bunk room, because that is very important for a military-based base. So we're just going to, I guess we can start it somewhere close to the front. We don't want it too close to this area here though, or that'll look really bad. So we're gonna kind of build it right here, I guess. I'm not sure how we're gonna make this look very decent, though. Alright, so I think this is a good size for a bunk room. We could always extend it if we need to. So I'm just gonna build the side walls really quick. And then we're gonna add our bunks. So that we know the exact size we need. Now we could use these mattresses. And I'm gonna do that for now. But if you guys want me to build the other um, type of beds similar to the ones I built in the fallout shelter, please let me know because those ones are pretty good but they're um they're a little uh, heavy on the building materials there we go i think that's a good amount of uh, bunks there we got enough for 10 people i believe that's uh just mostly for role play so um now we gotta add the roof we gotta accommodate to the top bunks here so we gotta give it a little more space i think I think that high would be good. Not quite sure though. Let's take a look. Yeah, that, that's a good enough height for bunks there. And now we gotta add the roof. We're gonna add some glass to the top roof so the commander can see into the bunks. It's a little creepy, I know, but he needs to keep track of all the uh, crew inside, essentially. Not like it's actually gonna be like that, but you know. <laughs> there we go. We got the glass on the roof of the bunk room it looks really nice now i don't know if i want to actually leave the door open like this or not but since it is a sky base uh, we don't really need a door unless people sleepwalk off the edge but then that's their problem <laughs> i'm a really bad i'm a really bad uh commander i don't know whatever <laughs> it looks pretty good though if you guys have suggestions for this room please let me know i think i'll add like a little um cabinet here really quick just like a a wood one on the side now I don't know if I'm gonna have a secret entrance in this one yet <laughs> but uh, for now it's just gonna be like a little closet space There we go. It looks like a little shelf. That's fine to me. We can add some plants and stuff to it. Maybe some cactuses. There we go. There we go. Some cactus. Looks good to me. Add our duck. We have a duck in every one of our builds. It's usually a blue duck. If you guys spot it, you, you are awesome. But I think we already have a blue duck in here. Um, if you guys know where he is, please let me know. You have a good eye if you've seen him. This one's a yellow duck. There we go. Awesome. Now it looks like there's soldiers here, I guess. The guys at the top lost their boots or something. I don't know. <laughs> looks alright to me. Actually, we're going to remove some of those. Just to save some space. Keep our, our performance good. There we go. And um, I think that's it for this episode, guys. If you have any suggestions for rooms, please let me know. Um, I'm going to be fixing up this place a lot more. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. And thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, 
Stay sweet. Bye.